What's up, guys? I'm Ravage Dragon, and welcome to Ravage Lands React. Today is Friday, Spooky Friday. So this is the fourth episode of me reacting to some spooky stuff. So today is going to be Chill's top ten. Well, this video is top ten, but it's usually just Chill's. So it's Chill's top ten. So this is the top ten videos. That you can only watch in the bathroom. Alright. So I would like for you guys to. Ravage that. What the hell. Oh. Ravage that like button. Ravage that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell. And also leave some comments. For chills in his channel. Um, The original video is going to be in the description down below. I've been doing this. I just haven't been mentioning it. So. Every episode that I've done from Octoberthon, the five I did in Octoberthon, and these past three episodes, the videos are in the description in, down below. Um, also, I would like for you guys to do that for my channel. Um, ravage the like button, ravage that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for Ravage Lands. I would highly appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get to the video. All right, it's time for some chills. Top 10. Is the bathroom your happy place? Well, not for long. We dare you to try to get through these top 10 scary videos hmm. that can only be watched in the bathroom. Oh. Number 10, hey. mysterious paranormal activity. Uh -huh. When there's something angry in your home, it will make its presence known. I think known. I've seen this before. Published to YouTube by Laney and Ben in June of 2021, this short scary clip shows their haunted house in action yet again. Whoa. What are you doing? Ooh, that looks nice. Yummy. Uh, your cabin is opening. Lainey is making <laughs> breakfast and walks over to set the dishes on the table. But the moment she turns her back to the cupboard, it swings wide open and a bottle of ketchup is expelled from it. <laughs> Lainey catches a glimpse of the paranormal activity, and although she still appears a bit shocked, it's clear she's seen this sort of stuff before. She simply calls out for Ben and then calmly leaves the kitchen. <laughs> ben? Ben? What is Ben gonna do? Is the spirit just reminding Lainey not to forget the ketchup? Or is this a forewarning? I because a red liquid condiment seems a bit too on the nose. Tell us your theory. What uh. is this poltergeist after? <laughs> that ghost was like... I bet you you're gonna leave that that bland. Here's some ketchup. <laughs> well, look, it, it can be faked. Um, or the whole time the ketchup was leaning up on the on the um on the cabinet door, and then it just like it opened, and then it just fell out. But it looks a little delayed, so it could be real, in my honest opinion. What do you guys think about that? Do you think it's real? Leave it in the comments down below. Number nine, Number nine. scare the intruder. Ooh, well, some might curl intruder. into a ball of fear when they discover there's an intruder on their property. This I'll woman took ass. matters into her own hands. Yo! Yo! Homeowner Tanya was alerted to an intruder's presence in her backyard via her ring security camera. Watching from one of the four ring cameras that she has mounted on the four corners of her home, she witnessed the intruder using what appears to be a big pair of pliers to pry open the locked storage shed. The scary video was published to Ring's YouTube channel in June of 2021. The motion alert from her floodlight cam had awakened Tanya. In the late hours of the night, checking the live view on the app, she saw this in her backyard. Tanya didn't hesitate to use the two-way talk feature on her camera, which after three yo's, alarmed the man enough to send him running. Yo! Yo! Hey, yo! Yo! 
According to the YouTube comments, there's also a scary dog barking feature that will likely deliver a similar jolt of fear down an intruder's spine, sending them packing. Well, in a perfect world, we wouldn't need these alarm features or security cameras, period. Having the upper hand helps many, I'll like this homeowner, whoop whoop. to sleep at night. Number 8, that wasn't that Sea scary. Rescue. The scariest Ooh, events rescue. are often not of the paranormal variety, but rather those that unfold in real time. Published to YouTube by The Telegraph in June of 2021, this clip shows the dramatic rescue of a girl who had drifted out to sea off the coast of Kinmel Bay in Wales. Oh, that sucks. What are you doing? It's okay. You're all right. You're all right. You okay? You're all right. Come on. It's all right. It's fine. You okay? The frightened girl was several football fields out to sea by the time a Royal National Lifeboat Institution crew found her. The RNLI is made up of crews of unpaid volunteers who train lifeguards and safeguard the beaches in the UK. Okay, the that's scary cool. footage shows these volunteers at work it's as not they scary approach to me. the girl as fast as their speedboat will take them. She is crying in terror, saying she's scared and asking them over and over again to please help. It's all right. It's fine, you okay? Got it. Pull up down there. Come on, sweetheart. Understandably it's a little terrified, girl and I the girl understand. calms down after the crew lifts her out of the inflatable dinghy and reassures her that she's safe. Please help! Come on. It's all right. Stay there. Watch your safe now, aren't you? Come on. We'll get you back to your parents, yeah? Okay. Telling her they'll get her back to her parents. Apparently, this was just one of several similar calls that the RNLI took over this particular holiday weekend. As many holiday makers headed to the beach on the hottest day yet this year, the RNLI is a self declared charity organization that saves lives okay. at sea, and they certainly saved her life. Numbers. That, that, see, that's not scary to me because the child was safe. But I can just imagine how she felt because as a little kid, you know, you're thinking you're just having fun and whatnot. All of a sudden, you just look around. Nobody's around and you're just like in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, that's extremely scary for that child. But she's safe. You know, they saved her and whatnot, which is a good thing. And the charity work that they do and whatnot to save other people, which is actually really good. That's that's really awesome. Now to number seven. Seven. Scary ninja jinn. Jinn are intelligent spirits from Arabian mythology <laughs> that have the mysterious ability to possess humans. And according to this video, they take that mysterious ability to the next level, which is apparently ninja based. Published to YouTube by Deranged Sajib in September of 2020, this scary possession has this man's limbs into something like a crab. <laughs> I do that or just to mess around. Well, I can't do that no more. captured on video doing a creepy crab walk backwards and forwards across the floor as a holy man stands over him, attempting to exercise him of the jinn. The man keeps low to the ground, smacking his palms to the floor with his fingers bent upwards. He speaks to the holy man in a haunting, possessed rasp. I could do that. Although the clip cuts out before we can see whether the man was freed of his possession, many in the comments note that the spirit who possessed him seemed like a ninja jinn. Well, I don't know about that. If it was the case, though, the man is acquiring these skills, even if only via a spirit taking over his body. I was. No. I'm able to do that. Hell, contortionists can do that easily with no problem. Now, I don't know if that can be real or not. And if. If the jinn is actually in possession of the dude's body, it was probably by accident or something because it looked like he did not want to be there. He's like, what the hell am I doing in this body? This, this is not where I wanted to go. <laughs> you know, that's what it looks like to me.
But yeah, like contortionists can do that. Um, I was able to do that at one point when I was like thinner and and more agile. Um, yeah, it, it it could just be for a video. It could be real. I don't know. I'm not there for me to be like, yeah, that's real, real, you know. But yeah, what do you guys think about that clip? Do you think it was real? I would like to know. Put in the comments. Let's see. Let's strike up a conversation. Number six, mysterious ghost caretaker. Okay. If you've ever been in a school at night, you know how creepy the dark, empty halls can be. Well, this school takes the hair standing on end to another level. Hot chocolate. Oh, they're gonna clean for me? Published to YouTube by Tubba Rubba in January of 2016, this scary video shows security footage via a video monitor which was captured at the apparently haunted That's Folk scary? High School in Arkansas. A janitor's cart sits in the entrance of a bathroom. A moment later, it starts to move slowly forward. It pauses for a minute okay. and then rolls further, wheeling around the corner before launching fast across the hallway and then turning sharply to enter another room. Okay. According to Tubba Rubba, the janitor of the school weighed in on this haunted ordeal. He said that his cart is too heavy to have been pulled by a string. Moreover, no one was caught on camera entering or leaving the bathroom before or after the creepy incident. So I guess we can assume the school bathroom is haunted by folks' version of Moaning Myrtle. Better steer clear before she drowns you in her tears. Number. Now that, I wouldn't even be scared. I'd be like, yo, you're going to clean that for me? That, that, that takes a lot of work off of me. Thanks. <laughs> Why would you get scared that your cart moved to another room? Then most likely you have to clean. You shouldn't be scared of that. Now, if the cart was like tossing your broomsticks around at you and, and, and flipping around and whatnot, that's something to be scared of. But the fact that it just moved to the next room, it's eerie. It'll make your, your hair stand up. It's not something for you to be like, ah! oh my God, the cart moved, ah! run. No, it, 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 there's no point for that. You know, there is no point for that. What do you guys think? Is it scary to you? Is it is it fake to you? You know? I would like to know. Number five. Number five. Mystery of the father. The mm -hmm. life of luxury team sets out to investigate a matter of a father turned monster demon in this scary video published in <laughs> May of 2021. Parker and Chester real. are on a mission to help 18-year-old Bailey, who <laughs> returned home from college, to find her family had mysteriously disappeared. Apart from her father, Stanley, only Stanley has changed, and Parker and Chester are there to find out why. Footage from Bailey and from the night's events show a harrowing and foreboding <laughs> tale of a father who turned to the dark side. In one clip shot by Bailey, she asks what he is doing, and her father, elongated and towering near a doorway, tells her to come closer. Closer. <laughs> he appears to be holding something. What could it be? Parker and Chester are about to find out. <laughs> they arrive at Bailey's house and find a scary video. <laughs> okay. Amongst Stanley's possessions, that's almost <laughs> vaudevillain in nature. A bald man dressed in a black leotard is dancing. A painfully thin man is rocking, crouched in a darkened room. A terror of a face keeps peering out. What does this mean? It's all too creepy. <laughs> Later, when all three of them go to sleep, a hidden camera captures this creature shortly after midnight, crawling out from under the bed. <laughs> it's Stanley, or is it? The creature's mysteriously long limbs are bent grotesquely. The demon makes hideous noises before watching his favorite video. <laughs> the 
the vaudeville one we saw earlier, it then busts through the TV for no apparent reason with its long limbs karate chop. After this, it slowly creeps across the room and enters the hallway. <laughs> While Bailey is sleeping, the demon reaches in and pulls her off her bed. <laughs> Bailey shrieks at the top of her lungs, but to no avail. Later, the demon, claiming to be Bailey, tries to lure Chester into the closet, only to be grabbed by the demon who tries to pull him into the hole that's located inside the closet on the floor. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Who's that? Come here. Luckily, Parker is there to <laughs> save him, but it may be too late for Bailey. Here's just a screaming. While all the boys made it out alive this time, they were nearly <laughs> drawn into the depths of the abyss, a place they surely would never have escaped. Number. Okay, so what Chills is not telling you, Life of Luxury, they're film students. And that video was one of their videos that they make, um, making like horror films, like short horror style films. Yeah, that, that that's obviously fake, but... Um, yeah, that's what they do. And it's actually entertaining. So if you guys want me to try to react to one of those, I'll try to find out if I can, because I know that a lot of people aren't able to react to those videos. So yeah, you could check them out. They, they actually, you saw it in the video earlier. You can rewind and check it out. All right, <laughs> here we go. Number four. Number four, creepy grudge girl. Oh. The picture is worth a thousand words, but the only word to describe this one is fear, 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 fear. This photo, at first glance, appears to just be your average selfie, but zoom out okay. and you'll see that the selfie girl oh. isn't the only one in the picture. Ooh, that. An apparition appears in the dark hallway behind her, oh, that's looking creepy. very similar to the creepy girl from The Grudge. In oh. a white shirt with long black hair dangling in front of her face, okay. the figure is peering out in all her creepiness at the selfie in progress. Is she a predictor of misery to come? No. Or maybe creepy grudge girl is just photobombing in the freakiest fashion ever. <laughs> Number th That was a girl's friend. I mean, obviously, that, that, that nah. <laughs> I don't need to explain. You know what it is. I'll put a number three. Let's go. Three. Creepy cupboards. <laughs> a child is quietly oh. doing homework at the living room coffee table. Hey, but something in the room doesn't want to keep the peace. This creepy clip was published That's by what I and done. Nika in May of 2021. Just closed it According back According to the video's timestamp, the footage was originally captured nearly two decades ago at around 1.40 p.m. on Damn. April 13th, 2001. Whoa. A child is writing. A cupboard door on the entertainment center flies open. Yeah, that didn't even bother her. So what the hell? Yo. Y'all gonna get me in trouble? Close this shit. Leave it alone. The little girl doesn't seem too rattled by <laughs> it. Perhaps she is used to strange poltergeist activity <laughs> in her home. She walks calmly over to shut it and sits back down to her homework, but the energy in the room isn't done harassing her. Yo, shut. Two Keep of the doors close. pop open simultaneously. One of them closes on its own, while the girl closes the other. Again, she doesn't appear surprised by the incident and studiously <sighs> heads back over to return to her work. That's when the poltergeist decides to shock her once and for all. The coffee table moves on its own, rolling across the floor. At this, the girl screams and races out of the room. Oh yeah. For the ghost, mission accomplished. <laughs> At least she'll have a real excuse for not finishing her homework. Number two. <laughs> Yo, I think I would have flipped right there. Like a door opening is like, eh. you're gonna get me in trouble. Leave me alone. 
Then I'm gonna go do my homework and what the hell? <laughs> well, I hope that nothing else happened to the, that kid. I hope it's not the parents making jokes, um, like trying to scare her and whatnot. Even though it's just a fun little prank, but don't go too far, you know. Nothing like raw monster gonna get you or anything. But yeah, it could be real because it's two thousand one. Um, special effects like that don't normal weren't available to the public like that. So it could be real. Or the 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 parents actually did get their hands on some special effects and did that. Um, the fact that there isn't too much information on it, any more hauntings or anything like that. So yeah, it, it could be real. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. Two scary two. randonautica in Las Vegas. Ooh, never do this that. Scary randonautica is brought to you no. by YouTuber CJ Faison. Okay. While in Las Vegas, CJ ventured out to the random location he was sent to by the app. The randonautica takes CJ and his crew into the middle of the desert, where they discover a photo of CJ taken with some female fans at the Mirage Hotel from 2014. Whoa. I'm literally shaking. I have chills. Open up my body. We've got at nothing all day long. Look at that. We've been struggling. What is that? Yo! Look at a picture of me! Yeah. CJ says that one of the girls in the photo is named Julia. Alongside the photo is a note that includes CJ's full name and some other personal information. The dark haired girl in the middle, I met her. In 2000, in I believe it was 2013, when I was racing in NASCAR at Richmond International Speedway. Nearby, they also discover a wallet with some random stuff in it, including a room key for the Luxor, which is where CJ is staying. Uh, makes sense because we're in Vegas. There's another Luxor room key. Oh, dude. I'm staying at the fing As they ponder this mystery in the desert, a couple of cars pass by and a girl shouts out at them. Rando Nautica video boys, come on. Is it Julia? A YouTuber recalls another video oh, that wow. CJ shot where he's reading texts about him from Aaron Valentino. The YouTuber notes that these texts mention the year 2014. Very well that you have stumbled upon this phone. I know many things about you. I know that you wish you could change some things that happened to your life in 2014. The same year listed on Julia's picture, as well as the quote that CJ read on the back of the photograph. The quote was, the ones who aren't afraid control life itself, which is a quote from infamous Richard Ramirez, AKA the Night Stalker. Um, yikes. Later, the crew notices something off in the distance watching them. Hold on, give me a sec. Let me zoom out first. It's right there. Holy. Oh. Person, can you record that for the video? Did someone plant this stuff here? Is that someone watching the group across several randonauticas from Pokemon Forest in Maryland to the desert outside of Las Vegas, Nevada? Oh. Several YouTubers in the comments think this crew is being tracked or their phones have been hacked into. Perhaps these randonauticas aren't so random after all. I've got a challenge for you. What is Since it? you've Chills. made it this far, uh -huh. why not like this video and hit okay. subscribe in the next five All seconds? Right. Because I upload four new scary videos every week. Okay. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at Dylan is chillin' YT and tap that follow button mm -hmm. to find out. Also, you can follow me on Ravage Lance. Yeah. Hit that like button. Leave some comments and also subscribe. Help me out. All right. Um, that randonautica thing. I don't know. It's possible. And this is just me thinking out loud. That the app has a Trojan. So once you download the app. What it does is that it downloads the information on your phone so it gives whoever runs that app 
all the information in your phone about you. Thus, it gives you the information from your Facebook, from your Instagram, all that. That all goes into that app. And they have all kinds of information on you. It wouldn't be cool to have that Randonautica app on your phone. I wouldn't suggest to use it. Please stay away. This isn't like a, please stay away, and then y'all go download it and whatnot. No, stay stay away from it. It could be dangerous. It could put your life in danger. So, yeah. That's that. What do you think about that? Number one, scary haunted theater. Question, what's scarier than a theater at night? Theater. Answer, a haunted one. Published Sound like TikTok. you said theater. This appears to show the phantom caretaker of a haunted theater. Jay says the theater is supposed to be Whoa. empty, but he keeps hearing a noise. So he's searching the theater to find its source. All right, guys, so I work at this, uh, this is creepy. theater and I've been hearing a noise. It's a really beautiful theater, as you can see, if you can see it at all. Yeah, but when nobody's there, it's creepy. Here, there's not supposed to be anybody here, so... Suddenly, he glimpses something in an upper theater box. He can't quite capture what it is, but after backing up a bit and zooming in, he manages to focus on this. That's creepy. It looks like the ghostly figure of a little boy dressed in a suit, although the image is blurry. The scary figure is distinctly there, leering out from a theater box. Phantom of the Opera? An intruder? Mm. Maybe he's just a ghost fanboy waiting patiently for the play to start. Be that could be... That could be a cardboard cutout. Because that's what it looks like. A cardboard cutout is hard to see. And then when you, like, stand back and focus in a little bit, it's still blurry due to the fact of how the distance is and how the background is black. I mean, well, it's in the darkness. But it could be a cardboard cutout, a black and white cardboard cutout. I think somebody was messing with the security guard and they put that cardboard cutout there to mess with him. Uh, that's what I think about it. Be careful. Unless That's you're brave, videos. there's no way you can handle these scary videos. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go with Outro Ravage. Yeehaw. Outro Ravage. Alright, that was Chill's Top 10 videos for you to watch on that you can't watch unless you're in the bathroom. It's a weird title. Anywho, um, I hope you guys enjoyed those. What you guys, I would like for you guys to comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of each individual um, clip. Or you can sum up the whole video if you like the video. If you like my commentary. But yeah. Uh, the clips to me, um, when it's real life stuff, it's not scary to me when there's a positive outcome. Um, it's scary to me when something bad happens and there was no solution towards it, you know? Um, besides that, the spooky stuff, sometimes it's fake, sometimes it's real. I can't tell you for sure, for sure, unless I know firsthand about that particular video, like Life of Luxury. Um, I know that they're film students and... And they do these projects, which is cool, and I like them. But I don't know if I'm able to react to them. So if I can find out, I probably would. But for now, I'm not going to do it. All right. Um, you can check out their channel. It's, it was in the video. Um, besides that, I hope you guys ravish that like button. Ravish that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell. That way you know when the next episode will come out. It could be a gameplay. Most likely it's going to be this again on next Friday. Um, so, with that, I'll see you next time on Ravage Lands. Sign out, everybody. <laughs>